everyone. It is Susie and I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I have a fun journal today that I want to share. Uh, this is actually a digital download that I got from uh, Creations Candida. And it came out so cute. And as I was getting ready to uh, get the link to her Etsy shop, I noticed that she has some... Um, it's called uh, the Christmas Labels that Matches Paper. Oh, and they have some of the cutest little, has some tags in it and things. Now, I didn't have that download for this journal, but I did notice it was there today. So, um, be sure and go over and check out uh, her shop. I'm going to have that link in the description box. And, anyway, this is uh, a little different because, uh, as usual, I didn't go grunge this time. I, uh, you know, I love grunge. I absolutely love grunge, but I have to make myself not just want to do everything grungy. So uh, I debated for a little bit whether I wanted to take this to the grunge level or not. So I decided not to. Uh, and I do love how it came out. So uh, on the front, I have used the Tim Holtz uh, labels, the Christmas labels. And I added a few little vintage buttons. I got these cute girls by the tree. Uh, photo corners I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. And uh, here is the spine. I just put some little rosettes. I didn't put it on the center of the spine. I, well, I guess it is kind of the center. But I wanted it to be able to be seen uh, for the front. I really didn't pay that much attention to where I was actually putting those. Uh, when I put them on. I used some uh, lace here that is really pretty. It's a wide lace. I'm not sure where it came from. Don't know if I picked it up. Probably picked it up at an antique shop somewhere, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was gifted. I don't know. I can't remember, but added the little journal on some fabric here. The little journal. Uh, and I did a little stitching around it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I did stitch around it. I used white uh, thread for the stitching here. And uh, anyway, just a cute, cute fabric cover. Oh, and I will be doing a tutorial on my fabric cover. So hang on uh, for those of you that wanted to see that process. It's so simple. Uh, just really, really simple. It will be a short video, but I will get that within the next week. So I do promise that. So uh, just a cute, it did end up a little chunky. Uh, it's two signature, no, it's one signature. It's just a one signature journal, but it did come out kind of chunky. Um, when you open it, I love this. This is my favorite, and there's another piece that's my favorite too, and it may be right here. Yes, with the skates. Is that not adorable? So I made a little booklet to go in the pocket, and I did use the white stitching. So there's my little Christmas trees, and it's just a little booklet here. Did a little little decorative stitch there, um, but uh, and I did. These are some new tags that I do have in the shop. Uh, I put 23 and 24. And I can't remember if I put the 25 in this in this journal or not. But I wanted to put a couple of days. I, I wanted to Christmas Eve, you know, for the 24 for Christmas Eve. And 23, just in case you wanted to journal a little bit, just a couple of days before Christmas. So, I think my 25 is in here too, but I can't remember where I put it. And then here is um, uh, just a piece of the little Tim Holtz. Uh, vintage boxes. Um, I, this is just the, the little sides that I tore off because I won't actually be making the box. I am going to use those for decorative purposes and frames. Uh, here is Yuletide. Now this is Tim Holtz here. But look how cute. This is one of the cut-aparts. Um, you get a sheet of cutouts and this is a little orange that I cut out of there. This is just those repair uh, envelopes from the shop. And I just made a little booklet. There's the little cutout from uh, Candida's shop there. A little decorative stitch. Um, and of course, a little. Now these are from Baby It's Cold Outside uh, from uh, the photos that I have uh, in the shop. But uh, 
uh, I used a little cheesecloth. I did mosh posh all of the photos here. They're all mosh poshed. So you will see that mosh posh on there. And then uh, here's just some decorative stitching. I did, now I used my vintage onion skin paper here. This is the, the uh, cockle finish here. But the pages, these pages here are actually printed on the vintage onion skin bond paper. So it's not copy paper. It is printed on the bond paper. I did print both sides. So here is just a little envelope. These are the, I believe they're four and seven eighths by three and a fourth glassing envelopes. And Sharon, she has been working on uh, these. Uh, I told you she was going to be working on some vintage grunge. And so anyway, she's just been experimenting little different things. But she made this little poinsettia here. I do get all of her little uh, her little uh, trials. So that's kind of fun. This here I've just used a little. This is a little cutout. I cut out that little boy uh, bow from the cut apart sheet. Added the cute little Christmas tree with the kids. All decorated there. And uh, this is Tim Holtz. Those are the milk carton or um, something like that. Uh, labels of his. And that is just a little booklet. So there is that. It just uh, goes over the page. And I used my white seam binding there for that. Here is a cute little page there with the candy canes. Um, here is a little square doily. I've had these for quite some time and uh, anyway decided to finally use one in the in this bit. Here are the new little repair tags that are so cute. Um, this is a stamp I believe I got from Red Lead and uh, anyway just made a little a little journaling tag there. Here's some more of that really pretty lace that I uh, used on the cover. Whoops. And here I've got just a little picture of this little boy. Not sure what he's doing there, but anyway, he is definitely looking at the Christmas ornament. And then, of course, this is Tim Holtz here. And just made a little collage for a little booklet there. And in order to keep them from sinking down in the in the uh, book there, I just added this little paper clip, kind of clipped it to the bag. It needed a little bow or something. Whoops, a little bow or something there anyway. Oh, that I got a little long. Let's cut that off. Okay, so here's some memoranda paper, and I see my paper clip has come off on it. Some of that little rust comes off at times for sure, but that's what happens when you have something rusty. There's another little fun uh, patterned paper from Candida's uh, Digital. Here I've got, I've just added some more of the label tape. And I just put the little photo corners on this uh, little Tim Holtz postcard. Here's some more uh, patterned paper from the Digital. I just made a little booklet out of a piece of uh, music sheet there, and it just slips in the in the bag. And then I did add just a little journaling book. It's just a small book in the uh, center of the signature, and it's just uh, I just used um, one of the digitals. It is the bond paper. Added some more of the label tape for Christmas. It does say Merry Christmas. And just made a little a little journaling book. Now in this one though I did put recipes. Uh, we have a little um, uh, swap that is getting ready to close out. Uh, and I always make something for uh, details, a video for the details and I was using recipes in one and I had that out so I said oh what fun let's just put a couple of recipes in this little this little journal book 
so there is another digital from Candida Shop, which I absolutely love. Love that. Uh, here I've added another little uh, photo. Wishes, once again, that's from Baby It's Cold Outside from the shop. And here is another little uh, uh, recipe that I added in the back is just blank and set it in the little glass scene. Of course, the poinsettias and stuff are cutouts from that uh, little cutout sheet. And there I put a little poinsettia on the back. It kind of almost looks like it sits on the deer's head. <laughs> anyway, that will go in the center of the uh, signature. And then here is uh, one of those little uh, repair envelopes. I did some collaging on it. I've got 25. Got a little girl with Santa. It looks at the post office. Putting her little dear Santa letter in the bag. A little collage. And all I did, I just made this a little list. I wanted it to be like a little um, wish list. And it says, Dear Santa. I just thought that would be fun. So that goes in the little repair envelope. And then another Tim Holtz uh, little uh, vellum piece here. Oh, there's my 25. I knew I put it in there somewhere. So there is Christmas Day. Um, I'm just using these old Tim Holtz clips. Um, they came out a few years ago. It's been a couple of years since those have been out. Here's another just little photo I've put in. And then a couple of these little postcards here, which are really cute. I will be putting some of these in the shop. I picked them up actually last year and um, thought they would be fun to add in the journals. So, and that little clip just goes on there to hold all these fun little, fun little things. And then here I just made a little collage out of the oranges and the poinsettia. Just thought it was fun. Added a little photo with the photo corners. Just wanted to kind of play with the photo corners a little bit. Um, they are a vintage thing. I remember my mother's scrapbook uh, having photo corners in the book. So here I just made a little collage. This is some little stars um, cut out from... Uh, Candida's uh, digital, and then some more of the fun paper, another re -tear, a repair tag stamp there, and then I've got a little collage going on the front of this glassine envelope, added another little photo, I love these because yeah, they will have little Maj Paj stickies on the back, so... Um, there's another little tag, another little tag, and another little tag. Just lots of tags. And you could kind of put them in your journal throughout, uh, where you want them. I love the red and green tags for Christmas. I knew when I saw I could get them, I needed to have them for Christmas. And then here is another little glassine envelope. Did a little collage. And then here is the box that those sides came off of that I showed you in the front of the book. I simply cut those sides off and wanted to use that as kind of a photo frame. So that is what I did. Uh, the little picture behind it is from the Tim Holtz ephemera ephemera pack and this is just a little booklet so I like how the journal came out I sometimes when you start a journal you you're really kind of or I am I guess I shouldn't put everybody in that class but sometimes when I start a journal I will get my photos cut out I will get uh, my papers you know uh, fixed uh, and then sometimes I just don't know where I'm going when I start I kind of just start playing with it and somehow it just all falls together 
and if it doesn't all fall together, if I can't get it to come together, I just put it aside. I'll just lay the whole thing aside and then pick it up again at another time. Um, so there is the 24. And then here is another little booklet. Love that cover. And there I did a little collage. I love this photo. This is my favorite of the little girl looking in the window. But I love this. I love this um, digital right here. And then, of course, this is from Tim Holtz as well. So, um, anyway, this is the little journal. Um, this is just the Merry Christmas journal. Uh, but I uh, hope that you will go over and check out Candida's Digitals. Uh, got some great things coming. Um, I believe in December... Starting in December uh, and through December, as I upload videos, I'm going to be uh, including an Etsy tip. So, for those of you that have just started an Etsy shop or uh, uh, maybe want to start an Etsy shop, or maybe you have uh, and your sales just, you know, aren't going anywhere yet, you know, I'm going to give some Etsy tips. Not that I think I'm an expert at Etsy. I, I've done Etsy now since, I believe it was 2017. So it's been three years. And I work full time. I work 10 hours a day, every day. And if I work overtime, that's another usually 10 hours. So up to 50 hours a week. And uh, still manage Etsy. So... Uh, just so I'll just give you a tip that um, I think help an Etsy shop. So uh, I always try to, well, I'll save that tip. <laughs> I'm going to save that tip for one of the tips. I was going to give you a tip, but I'll wait. Because starting in December, I'm going to do that in every video, give you at least one Etsy tip. So, and that will just be through December. And then also the new Somerset Magazine I am working on. Uh, getting something done with that because I love doing a project or two out of that and also uh, I will have another uh, uh, fun digital share uh, from another shop also coming up so anyway guys lots and lots of fun things uh, to do for Christmas I still have the uh, your creative studio box that I've got to get something made with. So I've got lots of things going on and lots of projects to get in, especially before Christmas. So guys, have a great, great holiday, especially Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving uh, day. I hope that you are able to spend some of your time with family. I know it's not encouraged right now, but uh, I think family is very important. And uh, I hope that, if nothing else, you will virtually uh, connect with your family. You know, whether it's through uh, FaceTime or Messenger chat or Zoom or something like that. I hope that you can connect with your family. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great, great day. And I will catch you in the next video.